recording. So we are in the middle of nowhere. Mm. We have some guests at the moment, our friends Tim and Alina, and they thought we've been indoors too much, stuck with the house. So yeah. they brought us out here and then they sent us on a walk and I imagine they're going to take the car and abandon us here. All we have is just... Dave's backpack, which contains a sketchbook. Um, Some I've raw got... materials, yeah. a raincoat, a book. So we'll see what we can do with that. Maybe a fire. I would rather not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what we're going to do for food. We might have to chop off Dave's arm and eat that. Well, I've been wanting to lose some weight, so... And that know. is a very good way of doing it. You it know, if would. you lose weight, lose an arm, lose a leg, cut your hair. I know it's what I tend to do, cut my hair. Cut your hair, yeah. Yeah. But we're in a really beautiful place. It's just absolutely stunning. And mostly it's really nice to not see other people for a little bit and feel like we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But especially, I love the sound of the water if I go down there. You just could never get enough of flowing water. It's beautiful. We found where the fairies live. Try not to fall off a stone here. But look at that. This is where they've been hiding this whole time. Oh no. Oh no. What have you done? It's just a stick, bro. It's just a stick. You don't need to. You don't need to prove anything. Oh, Dodie. Oh, good boy. Oh wow. He actually got the stick. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. The arms go up. Why have I got a stick here? Why oh, do I have a stick in my bed? <laughs> But how are we going to throw it back? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's mine. It's my stick now. So we're in Dartmoor now. I've been abandoned a little bit. I think I've walked a bit far from the group. But our friends are trying to get us out. And so far it's working. It's just so beautiful. Not just Thank you. 